Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here, and we're going to take a look at a fascinating little game dealing with ancient Egypt and pyramids. So if you have any interest in those areas, um, this is a very cool game, and it teaches you a lot about ancient Egypt, about possible ways pyramids are built, and it gives you an awesome pyramid, which we're going to look at in a minute. It comes with these Egyptian type uh, die with Egyptian figures on it, kind of cool. And all these Egyptian cards with all sorts of um, Egyptian uh, pictures on it. So if you're into it, anything Egyptian, if you like Egyptian stuff, well, this is a unique way of collecting things. Again, these are difficult to find. Um, here's kind of some of the game pieces. Here's uh, an Egyptian building. Of course, there's a coin aspect to it. But let me turn this over and show you what uh, this game is all about here. Um, oops. That was hard spinning stuff around here. Um, so the whole idea is you get this pyramids and mummies. There's actually two games here. There's the outer game where you kind of build this pyramid. Um, and then there's the inner game where you learn a lot about ancient Europe and we'll be showing you all that in a minute. Not ancient Europe, ancient Egypt. This was made in 1988 by Astro Play. So here's kind of a uh, look at the um, entire setup. We're going to put the setup up here now. The actual pyramid itself so we can take a look at it. And I'm always looking for pyramids because, you know, they're not that easy to find. Um, pyramids, um, uh, if you want a cool pyramid or particularly a sided pyramid, one of the problems with pyramids is that they're all open. So you get basically what are metal rods that go into different places, and that's what you get. They're not really sealed down. I've never seen a pyramid made from metal rods that any ancients made. So there is a problem there to think, well, do they work the same? Everybody's saying that's the same structure. Um, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's enclosed or not. Um... But why weren't there open pyramids if that's the case? So, but we don't see them anywhere. All the pyramids we see are all enclosed or step-type pyramids. There's things inside of them. And, of course, they used it that way. Um, and, again, here's some more of these cards I was telling you about with all the great uh, Egyptian images on them. And, you know, it teaches you hieroglyphics. So it's a really cool educational game as well as he said if you're into Egyptian stuff look at the inside of this and of course this opens up and flattens out uh, but you're getting a pyramid here you're getting a cool pyramid that you can use to charge things in uh, magically etc it's not the tightest you could if you wanted to um, uh, they have little plastic things here I'm assuming you can see those that kind of hold it together um, which are not really very tight, but you could mess with it to get a little better quality than that if you wanted to use this as an actual pyramid. But I like the fact that you can open a side, you could put things in here um, as a general rule, and uh, you can use this as an operational pyramid for charging. Um, you could do cer certain uh, place certain amulets, uh, magical operations in here, etc. Obviously, this is made out of heavy cardboard. You wouldn't want to put candles in here. Uh, but certainly, you could use this uh, as a magical item or to uh, empower things. Put supplements in here, do other things. So this is kind of a way of doing that. These aren't the cheapest either now, since they are quite old. Um, so uh, you may find it'd be better to get yourself a um, open metal one. But here's a way to experiment and even test yourself. Does closed pyramids help? So... Um, we just don't know. We don't know at all. And, of course, here's the coins. There's a coin-gathering game. You're supposed to um, assemble the pyramid uh, by putting the blocks in. And, of course, that's what um, these are. There's blocks like this that are attached to it. So you would, uh, through the process of uh, playing the game, you'd get the blocks and then assemble it until you've assembled the entire uh, pyramid. Um, 
Here's another open space. And of course, here's the block that goes in there. Number two fits right in there. And then you kind of assemble this, you collect coins. Uh, and as I said, you can play with this to get a much more perfect pyramidal structure out of it. And you get the two games. You get the game of building the pyramid and you get the inside game, uh, which is uh, exciting. As I said, you get these little kind of game pieces. There's um, Egyptian ones and there's also people's treasure hunters um, pieces as well. But these are just cutouts that you put on little plastic things. But it's kind of cool. And um, as you said, the inside of these is really awesome because of the fact that you uh, it's full color. As you can see here, it's got all these things. There's a mummy in the center. Um, so it's quite an interesting, we can actually open this up and look at it a little more. There's Osiris. There's Horus. So you can see it's very pretty, very, you know, if you're into Egyptian uh, stuff, you're going to love this. And then, of course, you can uh, open it up to some degree and close it in this particular way. And then you have an actual pyramid itself. So, again, like with all these things, uh, they are out and about there. Their prices and everything else are unknown. As I said, these come from 1988. If you're interested in these or anything else, always email us, get on a list, and we will see if we have any or can help you out and get you the latest prices. Remember to like, subscribe, support our the, what we're doing here. I mean, these kind of personal looks into items like this, particularly that are vintage, is extremely rare. I mean, while these things are out there, you really never see them. And you certainly don't see them up close other than a couple of pictures you may get on some sort of site that sells these. Uh, here, what we try and do is give you very up close and personal uh, views of everything and try and give you as much information as possible, showing you as much as possible. Here's all the cards. Um, and you can see the style they're at. They're not really... Um, they're a more primitive type art, but it's um, very interesting art and um, kind of almost comic booky or draw or art. And you can see it goes into all these. So, I mean, if you're into Egyptian stuff, you're going to love these cards. And they are teaching you about Egyptian culture, how the pyramids were built, the god forms, uh, everything uh, they give you information on. So... Um, you just really can't um, get anything uh, better than this if you're looking for something that's uh, Egyptian based. So um, it's always cool to find stuff like this. And people don't look for things like this, but you'd be surprised how many, quote, um, kits like this, toys, so to speak, games uh, for whatever your interest may be have been made out there. Um, so if you're interested in anything, military, Vikings, Romans, you name it, there's probably some sort of game or other thing out there or book that teaches you uh, about that that has all sorts of cool stuff like this. So do look into that. Stay tuned. We have many, many more to come. And they're all fascinating and exciting. Until next time.